Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. We're going to get started with our two minute warm up. Keep your hand weights close by. You're going to need them for. Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's workout. We're going to get started with our two minute warm up. Keep your hand weights close by. You're going to need them for round one. Let's start with a mini squat and tap. And I want you to engage the abs like someone's going to give you a gentle jab to the tummy. Pull yourself up through the crown of the head with a nice long tall torso. And when you're ready, you're going to start with little jabs to the front. And I want you to brace the abs guys like one of these jabs is going to hit you right in the tummy, right in the belly button. So every time you punch forward, I want you to hold those abs nice and tight without holding your breath. Let's come a little bit lower and turn them into uppercuts and a little pivot at the hip, easing ourselves into it. In our two minute warm up, then getting right into 60 minutes of high intensity interval training, broken down into four rounds, eight exercises per round. All right guys, bring it across the body with a hook right at shoulder height keep those abs braced like one of these is going to hit you in the tummy guys a few more let's do three two and one let's pull down and kick the butt nice wide stance really pull down and squeeze those shoulder blades together if you can get that heel all the way up and kick that booty for three two and one Keep this wide stance, feet facing out the corner of the room. Squat it and squeeze. Squeeze those cheeks together as you come up. Let's get our squat form, sitting all the way back into it. Let the torso pivot forward for three, two, and one. Shuffle on the spot. I'm going to show you the very first move. Roll the shoulders back and down. Step into the squat right, step left, step back right step back left option to jump it down and then jump to pick it up I'm going to do one and one one step step to put it down and pick it up and then one jump starting with the right step squat step squat let's go back the other way and pick them up if you like you can jump the next two otherwise keep doing a step squat to the right and the left so right left and back and back all right, I've got you out of one, half of one. All right, guys, start low. Push that booty back. Squat right, squat left, and then option to jump for two. Here we go. Step it right with the bicep curl left. Now stick with the stepping or intersperse it with two jumps. If you like the jumps, keep them the whole time. Keep the booty pushed back. We are low, low, low. Your quad should be on fire. All right, let's do one more jump. All right, guys, rest and watch. Palms facing down, arms at shoulder height. Rear lunge with a kick. Roll the shoulders back and down, here we go. Rear lunge and kick it. Now, when I come back into the rear lunge, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, squeezing my arms up. A few more guys come nice and deep. Bring this rear lunging leg as close to the ground as possible. Switching sides. So when you come back, not a straight leg, bend it so you've got two 90 degree angles. Changing legs. Here we go. Rear lunge with a kick. If you're losing your balance like me, you can always tap it or low kick. You don't need to bring the kick that high. You've got to really engage these abs when you're on one leg. Come on guys, stick with it. Two, one. Rest and watch. Small V. Curtsy with the lateral raise and back to that kick or tap. Curtsy, lateral raise, just up to shoulder height. Come nice and deep with that curtsy. Knee is close to the ground. Tap the foot if you're losing your balance. A few more, two, one, switching sides, so back up tall, curtsy with the opposite leg and kick, 
we're gonna grab a rest. Here we go. Curtsy and kick. Come nice and deep into that curtsy. Knee comes as close to the ground as you can. Back up tall. Don't hunch the shoulders. Back is flat. A few more guys. Okay guys, come into a rear lunge position. Tuck this hip under. Come down into the lunge. Arms are almost straight. You're gonna stand in the lunge and do a tricep pulse. Here we go. So palms are facing in and arms are nice and close to the body. If you like, lift this back leg as you stand out of the rear lunge. Pulse those triceps. Switching sides. So tuck this hip under. Come down into a lunge position. Almost straighten the arms. And then stand and straighten. Here we go. Don't hunch the shoulders. Keep the shoulders rolled back and down. The arms are nice and close to the body. Elbows are close to the torso. Raise this back leg if you like as you come out of that rear lunge pulse. All right, guys, well done. One down, three to go. Grab a drink, have a rest, and watch. Back to the rear lunge with your left leg. Weight comes by your hip. Bring the weight up over in an arc. If you like, from this rear lunge position, you can do a dynamic lunge. I'm gonna start with a step. Step back into a lunge, and step back into a lunge. Now from this position, if you like, you can do the step lunge. If that gets too much, step out of it and bring it back into a static lunge. Two, one. Well done, guys. Rest and watch. There is an imaginary bar. You're coming under it, knee up, under it, knee up. Here we go. Come under, knee up, and knee up. On the next one, if you like, you can jump with the knee up, but I want you to really get under that bar. You can also do one and one, and then intersperse with the jump. All right, guys, catch my breath. Okay, start in a tricep extension. Side lunge, knee up with a tricep. Here we go, side lunge, knee up with tricep. If you like, put your other hand on the weight to help control it, but use your left arm to do all the movement. You can also hold yourself just on the shoulder, on the elbow. Sorry guys, if you like, just grab your elbow. Come down, tricep extension, and down. Here we go. Deep side lunge. So you can either hold the elbow, hold the weight with the second hand, but just to control it, let your left arm do all the work. Elbow close to the head. Two, one. Keep the weight in this hand. Catch my breath, sorry. Real lunge with an overhead press, and then you're gonna do a crunch. Knee to elbow, here we go. Rear lunge, crunch it. Keep the back up tall. You don't need to crunch the body over. If the knee up's too much, just tap and bring the elbow towards the hip. Back up tall, abs engage. Switching hands, switching legs. So we're gonna come back with the other leg and cross. Ab core workout here, guys. Here we go, overhead press and crunch it. If the knee up's too much, just tap and bring elbow to hip. You've got to really brace those abs when you're standing and balancing on one leg. One weight, we're doing asymmetrical loading. There's a method in the madness. Side plank, guys. We're just going to crunch it down, elbow to wrist. Here we go, crunch it down, keep those hips up. If it's too much, having the feet stacked, bend this bottom leg and do the side lunge that way. Sorry, the side plank that way. A few more guys. Two, 
one and I'm sorry I forgot to grab a floor mat so hopefully you've got one so if it's too much to come up like this bend this bottom leg and bring this elbow to this wrist here we go bring it down and up brace those abs guys it's only 20 seconds do it nice and deliberate drop that bottom leg and bend the knee if you need to a few more seconds two one well done guys we're halfway through grab a drink and a rest let's bring it home by repeating rounds one and two so remember pick and place side step into the squad and then option to jump into it for two here we go step to the right step to the left let's go pick them up now you stick with that if you like or intersperse it with the jump squat or stick with the jump squat I'm going back to the step to the right and the left now pick it up all right cut us out of one again start in a bicep curl position push that booty back step and step and then jump and jump here we go step right step left stay low keep the steps or intersperse it with a jump back to the step if you like or stay with the jump I don't mind if you want to go harder than me step right step left two jumps let's do one more jump of you jumping I felt that in the quads all right guys palms facing down rear lunge with a kick roll the shoulders back and down here we go rear lunge and kick just bringing the arms to shoulder height if you're losing your balance just tap the foot rear lunge and tap or rear lunge and kick weights come up to shoulder height switching sides I'm gonna grab the rest so your right leg is coming back here we go rear lunge and kick remember guys the rest is just as important as the high intensity intervals take the rest I do when I practice and when I'm working out on my own I take the rest two one small V curtsy with a lateral raise to a kick or a tap let's do it deep curtsy and kick or tap it's your workout do what feels best for you you can kick low or kick high remember to engage the abs to keep the balance switching sides this leg's curtsying so all of this workout is really a secret core workout here we go every time you're on one leg every time you're maintaining your posture you are using your core come nice and deep arms come to shoulder height a few more three two one remember guys into that rear lunge position pivot forward arms almost straight stand up and straighten the arms at the same time here we go stand so straighten this front leg squeeze the triceps elbows close to the body shoulders back and down lift the back foot off the floor as you come out of the tricep rear lunge brain not working okay back into the rear lunge come down pivot forward arms almost straight stand and pulse those triceps here we go pulse them palms are facing in shoulders are back and down elbows close to the body if you like lift that back foot off the floor as you come out of this little mini rear lunge pulse two one guys grab a drink one more round remember two options bring the weight up and around or you can step into it sorry rear lunge start 
with your left leg. <laughs> weight coming to your right here. Rear lunge and let that weight come up and around. From here, you can bring it into a jump lunge. If it gets too much, just step up out of it and back in to the static rear lunge. Abs engage. Okay guys, imaginary bar or desk. You're gonna come under it, knee up, under and knee up. Here we go. Come under, bring that knee up and up on the next one if you like. Jump it up and jump. Intersperse it one and one. One static knee, one jump. Do all jumps or all static knee, whatever you like. Okay guys, what are we gonna do? Tricep extension, side lunge, knee up. I'm gonna keep this other hand here just to help control where this weight goes. But all the work is being done by your right arm. So if I take the hand, the other hand away, I'm doing the same amount of work. I'm just preventing the weight from wobbling around. Switching sides. So grabbing the weight with what would be your left hand. This guy's just resting on there to help it balance. Here we go. Side, knee up. Brace the abs. Abs are engaged as you're standing up on one leg. We're doing asymmetrical loading when using one hand weight. It makes your core work even more. Keep the weight in this hand, guys. Catch my breath. Rear lunge and cross. Rear lunge with this leg. Here we go, rear lunge with an overhead press and crunch or tap and bring the elbow and the hip together. Keep the arm out for balance if you like. Put it on your hip, whatever's more comfortable. Come deep into this rear lunge. Two, one. Working the shoulders, working the core, working the booty, working the abs. Make sure this hip's tucked under. It's not straight out, it's tucked under. Here we go. Rear lunge and cross. Guys, after this, come on the floor. Grab your mat if you've got one, sorry. And we're gonna do those side plank crunches. A few more seconds. Abs engage, back up tall. Let's bring it home. Two, one on the side, side plank. You can keep this bottom leg bent if you like, bringing the elbow to the wrist. Here we go, crunch it and up. Keep these hips raised, don't let them drop down to the floor. Keep them in line with the rest of your body. Abs engage, halfway there, come on guys. Second last exercise of the day, stick with it. Two, one. Switching sides, last one, and done. Keep this bottom leg bent if you need to. Bring the elbow to wrist. Otherwise, stack the feet. Let's do it. Last one of the day. Come on, guys. Keep that back nice and long. Core engaged. 10 seconds. A few more, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. Well done, guys. I'm always so surprised when we get to the finish, like I can't believe we made it. Okay, your right leg forward. Press through your left hip. Breathe into it. Let the oxygen flow. Your left arm comes up, catch it with your right. Press back against it. Breathe into the shoulder as you're still pushing through the hip. And breathe, slow that heart rate down. Okay, guys, curl the back toes under. Bring the arms up. Look between the hands and look up at the ceiling. Now, if you like, come up on those toes and straighten that back leg and look up between your hands. Keep the knee on the floor. If you're more comfortable, either way, we're opening up your left hip. Bring your left hand on the inside of your right foot. Swivel and look up at your right hand. Back knee can be off the ground or on the ground, whatever you're more comfortable doing. Both hands on either side of your right foot. Bring the knee back down if it's off. Push back into a hamstring stretch. Flex your right foot. 
back is flat, comes down as far as you need to to feel this stretch in the hamstring, breathe into it. Don't force anything, guys. Doesn't matter how far you come. Just matters that you feel the stretch. Changing legs. Your left leg forward, push through your right hip. Tap into it. Feel the oxygen going in there. Arm comes up, catch it. Open up this shoulder. Breathe into the shoulder. Nice long deep breaths. Tuck these back toes under. Bring the hands up. Look up between the hands. Keep that back foot on the ground if you like or straighten the back leg and come up on the toes. And breathe. Your right hand comes on the inside of your left foot. Swivel and look up over at your left hand. Back knee can be on the floor or back leg can be straight and on the toes. Both hands come down on either side of the left foot. Push back. Straighten this left leg, flex this left foot. Come down as far as you need to to feel the stretch. Breathe into the hamstring, tap into it. Nice, long, low, sleep, deep breaths, I should say. Nice wide stance, guys. Just bend forward and hang here for a few breaths. Hands on the floor if you can, if not, put them on your thighs. Knees ever so slightly bent. Just hang here, bend the knees, walk the feet in towards each other, keep the feet on the floor if you can. Now slowly, slowly, slowly unravel. One vertebrae at a time. Let the hands come up the legs very, very slowly. The heads last, come up. No hurry, you guys, slowly, slowly. Shoulders, roll them up and back. And now forward. Let's do some arm circles. Back and forward. Let's do a quick hamstring quad stretch. Brain not working, let's breathe into it, tap into it. Guys, thanks so much for working out today. I hope you enjoyed it. I try and make them creative and fun, but without having to spend too much time working out what each move entails, let's reach up and over the body. And I try and make sure we hit as many body parts as possible. Triceps, biceps, shoulders, back, quads, glutes, core. Reach up and over the other side. If I'm forgetting any body parts, and you want them to feature, let me know. Let's pull the hands down. And give yourself a big round of applause. Thanks again, guys. Drink plenty of water. Treat your body well. You've earned it. Give yourself a big hug. And I'll see you next time.